Whoa. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this read. This read will be for Pisces for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. What messages do we have for Pisces? Y'all know I'm holding my phone. It fell. I had to pick it up and get started on this reading, y'all know. What information do we have for Pisces for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th? Pisces. Pisces, y'all all over the place, huh? Pisces, week of October the 22nd through the 29th. What information do we have for Pisces for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th? Pisces. Okay. See what we got. All right, so let's go ahead and pull a clarification. What clarification do we have for Pisces? The week of October the 22nd to the 29th. What clarification do we have for Pisces? Clarification we have for Pisces for the week of October. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and pull these cards. Hmm. Hmm. All right, your underlying energy is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is seeds well planted. This can also be, and with the King of Swords clarifying that, this is you needing to take control of the situ of whatever situation this is because the seeds have been planted. You've been nurturing whatever it is you're trying to make grow, but you need to take control and actually move forward with it. Sunday, we got the Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. So this represents waiting for something, maybe waiting for financial security. Um, this could be you needing to find the little things in life it's like it's happening all around you, but you're unaware of what's going on. With this Ten of Pentacles, this represents a happy found, happy home life, financial security. Um, but it's like you're waiting for something to come in. I don't know if you're waiting to leave. This could be a travel car. You might be waiting to um, leave. But this is like abundance. So maybe there's going to be an abundance of happiness come Sunday, okay? Let's see. Monday we got... It's the strength card. So this is great in the strength, releasing harsh judgments. And I think Monday, this is you needing to release something from your life. Okay? Especially with that Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords represents releasing things that no longer serve you. Speaking for yourself. Speaking truth. Speaking tactfully. Um, being very honest about how you feel about something. And with the strength card, this is like something that's going to cause you to actually have to speak and have the strength to make something stop. Okay? Tuesday, we got the moon card. So this is events happening behind the scenes, releasing the fears that hold you back. I think this week for you is for you to decide to actually move in a new positive light. Remove the negativity from your life and actually move within positive um within the positive things that are happening in your life, especially with this four of swords. So this is like meditating before making a decision. This is also like being at a stalemate. So maybe you need to release those fears that are holding you back because right now you're at a stalemate for making a decision, okay? Tuesday, we got well, Wednesday, we got renewal. So this is review and evaluate. We just have this as a daily um, read, and I really liked it. This can also be a favorable assessment effect, time to move in a new direction. Um, and you got the lover's card on top of that. This does In this situation, the lover's card don't mean two lovers coming together. In this situation, it really means making a favorable assessment, reviewing the facts, reevaluating things, making a decision based on um, weighing your options and making a, a logical decision based on whatever facts or whatever you're going through if that makes any sense all right thursday we got the queen of pentacles so this is making time for those around you dealing with challenges taking this sensible approach um you also got the sun card so this could be this could be looking at things from a perspective um this can be you opening your energy feeling very warm feeling very you know hospitable very um good having a good day this can also be you realizing that maybe you do need to open your energy to others maybe there's someone coming in that could help you financially because with this queen of pentacles this could be someone coming in financially to help you um so maybe this could be a good move like a good business opportunity for you thursday in order to do something Friday, we got the sun card with the star card. So this is happy outcome. So maybe, like I said, Thursday, someone came in to offer you a job or offer you some type of um, 
financial um, relief with something. And by Thursday, by Friday, Friday, that was Thursday. So by Friday, this is like a happy outcome, brilliant new ideas, especially with the star card. This is being on the right path and having faith that you're being led in the right direction. We got the Ten of Wands for Saturday, so this is too much work. Maybe this job is bringing too much work, or maybe you're just stressed out because it's something new, and maybe you're having issues on how to actually move around and get there. I don't know why. That's just what I, I feel. It says self-help from others, so maybe this is you asking for help, especially with this Prince of Cups. This is you asking or offering or someone coming in to offer help to you um, in regards to something. Sunday, we got the Two of Pentacles, so this represents too much going on again. Um, maybe there is a need for you to help, and there may be someone that's coming in that's going to help. Maybe a male figure, um, maybe a father figure, someone that you look up to. Um, this is also like uh, the need to make a decision about something, so maybe there's a need for you to have maybe a sensible approach or either just open your energy and actually be generous and um, loving toward whatever situation this is so that you can get the best outcome available for this so let's go ahead and pull our romance um angels oracle deck i think is what it's called <laughs> all right so what energy do we have for pisces couples for the week of okay got one pop out we got playfulness it says to recapture your rom to recapture romance allow your inner, inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine y'all I couldn't get the words out of that so maybe it's time for you guys to be a little playful with your mate show a little love to your mate be a little you know to your mate so that your mate can uh be happy okay um and maybe you guys can have some fun go to the arcade or something you know do something fun all right so what do we have for Pisces singles for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th what information do we have for Pisces singles for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th Pisces singles we got keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your un, from your usual type and expectations. So this could be someone coming in that you are probably not interested in, probably not uh, attracted to. This person might be the person for you. We got free yourself, guys. It says it's time. That this is for both you guys. It says for singles and couples. It says the time is it's time to take back control of your life. So some of you guys have been letting things just happen in your life, and this week definitely speaks about taking control of um, your life in the situation, okay? So let's pull our goddess, there we go, I couldn't find them. Our goddess guidance oracle deck and see what messages we have for Pisces Spirit. What messages do we have for Pisces for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th? What messages do we have for Pisces for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th? Pisces, October the 22nd through the 29th. Pisces, October the 22nd through the 29th. We got the arts. It says, express yourself through creative, through, through creative activities. We also got, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. This is definitely what you make a decision to change your life now. It also says your household situation is improving either through a healthy change, either through a move or a healthy change in occupancy. Some of you guys are definitely moving. I did see some movement going on. It says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself, the process, and do not give up. That is the messages I have for Pisces. So if you guys would like a personal read, you can hit me up on my email. It's intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. All my prices are in the description. If you guys would like um, to hit me up on the website, that's www.intimatewisdom.net. Um, if you like to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal. That's paypal.me slash intimatewisdom. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for everything you've done. I absolutely love you guys. Um, this is all I got for you. So y'all have a good night and stay tuned for those monthly reads coming up next week. Have a good night, y'all.